of modern Britain in all its diversity, compassion and strength that was shared around the globe. The second female Prime Minister, but certainly not the last. I do so with no ill will, but with enormous and enduring gratitude to have had the opportunity to serve the country I love. What are you most proud of? Gosh, well, you're right, Brexit has, has taken up a lot of people's thinking, but actually there's an enormous amount that has been done um, behind that. I'm proud of the fact that our balanced approach to the economy means we see employment at record levels, unemployment at a record low. While our opponents flirt with a foreign policy of neutrality and prepare for a run on the ground. Some people say we've spent too much time talking about Jeremy Corbyn's past. You may not have heard me say that. She, did she actually know? But I think the other interesting question is, I feel sorry for ITV. Why didn't he do their debate? D'accueillir ce soir la première ministre. Thank you. Ministre, le vent tire de l'Union européenne. Et moi, je respecte la souveraineté des peuples. One picnic at Balmoral which was taking place in one of the bothies on the estate. The hampers came from the castle and we all mucked in to put the food and drink out on the table. I picked up some cheese, put it on a plate and was transferring it to the table. The cheese fell on the floor. I had a split second decision to make. <laughs> I picked up the cheese, put it on the plate and put it on the table. <laughs> and I turned round to see that my every move <laughs> had been watched very carefully by Her Majesty the Queen. <laughs> I looked at her, she looked at me, <laughs> and she just smiled. <laughs> and the cheese remained on the table. <laughs> Boris Johnson zum Außenminister zu machen. Also warum stellen Sie einen Spieler auf, der das Spiel gar nicht spielen will? Und Frau Bundeskanzlerin, was glauben Sie, wie hart werden die Verhandlungen mit Großbritannien mit diesem Außenminister? Can I first of all say, I think it would uh, be dangerous for a British Prime Minister to talk about football in Germany. Uh, this is not something on which we have perhaps quite as good a record as the, uh, as the, the, the Germans do. Theresa May's moves fall into the awkwardly reluctant category of political choreography, but she does not dance there alone. Witness this Jeremy Corbyn effort, fortunately short-lived. What's the naughtiest thing you ever did? Oh, goodness me. Um, I, well, I suppose the... Uh, gosh, I, do you know, I'm not quite sure. Well, there must well, have been a moment. Nobody is, nobody's ever perfectly <laughs> behaved, are they? I mean, you know... I have to confess, when me and my friends sort of used to run through the fields of wheat, um, the farmers weren't too pleased about that.
were not meetings with a high and mighty monarch, but a conversation with a woman of experience and knowledge and immense wisdom. They were also the one meeting I went to, which I knew would not be briefed out to the media. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Congratulations. I remember you said so clearly in your campaign, I'm Theresa May and I'm the best person to be Prime Minister. Given everything that's happened, everything that's gone right and everything that's gone wrong, do you still feel that that was the case? <laughs> well, by, by definition, I'm, I'm not going to say, no, I wasn't the right person. <laughs> I do believe I was the right person to take this on and to take the Conservative Party. Yes, there was Brexit, and Brexit was difficult, and Brexit has been challenging. <laughs> Youth unemployment halved. Um, I'm, we see wages now rising faster than inflation. Uh, as I said at my party conference, we're able to bring an end to austerity. We've been able to inject, we, we'll be injecting that extra £20 billion pounds mm. into the NHS, giving the NHS that security and stability for the future. It's so important for people. We're building more homes for people. That's really important. Yeah. Okay.